What up everybody, this is Owen from Real Social Dynamics. Here we are in beautiful Miami Beach. It's, kinda, it's probably gonna downpour in a second. Um, I wanna go over a uh, student experience last night. So we had a three set, which is the game term, but three different girls. So we were hitting some girls beforehand. I wanna, give, I wanna give, have these guys give their perspective and then I'll give my coach input. So like, we had a bunch of individual experiences before that. A lot of the girls were like, fuck off, fuck off, or like, we're not interested. We met these girls, we sat down with them. All three of us like paired off and it was going good. And so like, your girl had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. What happened with that? So like, uh, we're, t we're just talking with them, we're joking, everything was cool. And then, you know, we were built, she was receptive. I did the opener, hey, uh, can I meet you real quick? Um, what's your name? She was open to meeting me. Uh, we started talking about California, uh, Yellowstone. Uh, we were like shooting shit, talking about a bunch of different topics. Uh, she was really into me, uh, but I wasn't, I didn't polarize the conversation. I didn't uh, make sexual innuendos and she kind of just lost interest at the end and uh, decided, okay, like let me, I gotta go to the bathroom, whatever. Um, and then you went to the bathroom with her though. <laughs> um, I was like waiting like right outside um, like with Ryan. Uh, we were like, you know, speaking about like the interaction, kind of like going over it, like reflecting on it, like what could we have, uh, what could I have done better? Uh, then the girl comes out of the bathroom and we go over to the bar uh, with, the, with your girl. Yeah. She's there. We're talking, um, I'm talking to the white chick. We're like, <laughs> We're like, she's like, we go into the dance floor and she's like twerking on me and with. Oh, but we got this dude in like a double sandwich dance. Like he was fucking like in between two chicks and they were like grinding their booties. And he was grinding another girl's booty. And at first you were like fucking scared, right? You're yeah. like, he like, he's like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I'm like, dude, they're cool with it. Like a lot of guys don't realize like what's possible in the game. Like you can go and do whatever the fuck you want for the most part, as long as you own it. And as long as you're cool with it. You don't want to go in there and be like, Hey guys, can I dance? Like, you just like rolled in and you just start fucking owning yeah, it, yeah. and the chicks were loving it. So, we set up the frame like we're gonna all gonna go hang out after this. And they're like, yeah, it sounds good. Well, my girl was like, fuck yeah, let's go. And then your two girls started doing what's referred to as con I, I use this term conferencing. So like they started talking together. So like let's do like an example. Like let's say you're the two girls, you're like talking to each other. Right? Blah, 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 like, uh, what you want to do is come in and be like, yo, talk to my friend again. And you just want to, it's not like, hey girls, you can't speak. Like, you don't want to be like a fucking, uh, you know, like an asshole. Or like where you're making a big deal and the, and the girls are going to react to it. But it's more like you just come in subtly and you're like, yo, talk to him. He wanted, he wanted to talk to you about something. And you come in and then it's cool. So like they, they kept conferencing and they're like, when, you, when you're talking to a girl one on one and she's giving you objections, you're like, lowering the compliance thresholds. So you're making it easier for her to come with you and do whatever you're trying to do. When they're talking to each other, they're raising the compliance threshold. And they're like, maybe these guys are creeps. Maybe these guys are gonna fucking kill us. Like all the stupid girl objections. Oh, how will we get home? Like we don't know these guys, this kind of stuff. That's why you don't want them to talk. It's not like, it's not like you're like trying to like coerce them to come with you. You just don't want them to like be too doubtful without getting to know you further. So like we had a situation we, we ran the whole thing textbook, and both these guys are, are like mostly beginners. Yeah, very beginner. Yeah, and well, you did it. Shout out. He did his first approach uh, three days ago, and he did an instant date, stupid game term. He met a girl during the daytime, took her on a date, and then he also had a girl that was engaged that he was bringing her out by the hand, and she wanted to go fuck in what he said was his laboratory, because he said he was a scientist. <laughs> but she was engaged. Like, here you went from never having cold approached to having a girl wanting to go fuck, like, and she was leading, leading up by the hand, and the, and the friend came in and fucked it all up. But like, what was your guys' experience in that interaction last night with the three girls? Like, what did you, did you feel like more comfortable? That, like, like, just explain like what went through your head, like as we're talking to these girls, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was, it was. I don't think I've ever gotten that far into an interaction. Yeah, you did. You were leading the girl up by the hand the day before. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah that was, that was, the whole interaction was like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. But still, <laughs> you, it was a done deal. Like. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was pretty cool.
cool. Um, I usually don't talk to girls that much. And yeah, we were talking to these two girls who were super hot. And yeah, it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> but what were, you, what were you thinking? Like, you were doubt. Were you doubting yourself? Were oh, yeah, you doubting like, is oh, this I mean, gonna go down? Like, yeah, what's yeah, gonna happen? Doubting, or, uh, what actually happened? All right. So when we, when the conversation started, everything was going pretty well. And uh, she was talking about coming to Miami, and I was like, blah blah blah. And then um, what happens is that she took out her phone and showed me her Instagram of her basically squatting in front of the camera. And that was, she looked hot. Yeah, yeah, she looked hot as fuck. And then, and then nice. um, she showed me all the pictures, and then at that point, I like blanked out, and that's when the interaction kind of. No, you out. said when I showed my tattoo. Because <laughs> yeah. these girls, they're like Thor fans. They're like really into Molnir, which is like, that's my tattoo here. What up? And also, there's a J Malv hidden. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> it says J Malv in the hammer. Um, yeah, my, my girl, uh, like after. Once I said I have a Thor tat. Yeah, that was it. She I didn't. Me. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Bro, you're really good. <laughs> but like, no, I was like, I have, I got a fucking Thor tattoo. I showed them, and then they were like, "What up?" But I don't think it was the Thor tat. It's more like I was commanding. I was leading the whole thing. Like I was coming to the frame. Like we're all gonna go hang out for sure. There's not a question, and you all fucking love us for sure. Yeah, so so like, yeah. So like when I asked her to hang out, I'm like, "Yo, we live close by here." And what a lot of times what I'll do is take my phone, go onto Google Maps, and I'll show, I'll type in my address, and I'll be like, "Here's where we are." Here's where, this works really good. I'm like, here's where we are, here's where, where we're going. It's like, it's like four minutes by drive. And the girl goes, okay, here's my keys. I have, I'm like, do you want me to drive? I've been drinking. She said, no, no, I'll drive. But like, we can take five people and then the rest of you have to Uber. I'm like, okay, cool. So we're all going to leave. And then your two girls started conferencing again. Yeah. And they're like, whisper, whisper, whisper. Should we go with these guys? We're not sure. And then the white chick was like, she's like, uh, we're gonna just do this like we're, we're gonna go to a different place Delano They're like yeah. you can come with us But we're not going to your place because we don't know you and I'm like I like literally said like no one like don't worry. We're not trying to bang you like I, I will just be like straight up like that Cause That's usually the objection is they think like if we go there We're all gonna get banged and even if they want to get banged they, they don't want to like admit it. It's like cognitive dissonance right. So like she's like like that's not what I'm worried about. I'm like all right then come hang out and She's like no, we're gonna go to Delano. You can still come I took out my phone, uh, grabbed my girl's number, because she was the most down. I'm like, let's all try to meet up a little bit later. And she's like, yeah, sure. I'm just going to drop these girls off, and I'll meet later. And then it, all, it like, fully imploded. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, had it, I had it all framed to bang my chick in the car, because I had a girl at my house, and she had friends at her place. And then she, like, took too long. And then me and him ended up pulling a different set. A two set. Yeah, back to a hotel. And then I told my girl, like, come to the hotel. And then in the hotel, like, basically the move, since it's a, like a fucking single room, is you have to take them to the bathroom, usually to have a serious conversation or, like, I want to talk to you more, or, like, come here, I want to show you something. And then in the bathroom, you're making moves. So, like, I brought, I think you tried, and then I, and I brought my chick in the bathroom, and she's like, I don't want, there's people here. Like, the bathroom didn't lock. It was, like, one of those sliding, yeah. it's like a sliding it's wooden, open, like, yeah, it's like a way. sliding wooden door where you can still see. And like, she's just like, I'm not gonna do shit with these people out here. So then I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna, what's the last option? Bring her to my house where I had a girl waiting for like four hours and like crying. It's like, sounds like a dick. It is a, it is a dick move, but, so we brought her there and then it all fucking blew up really hard. But like, what? <laughs> and we had to do like a removal from the house. But like, what was? <laughs> it's garbage day. <laughs> we gotta do our weekly removal. Yeah. Well, what was, like, what was your, because you guys haven't done that before. It's so, like, what was your, like, impressions oh, man, and it was, thoughts? It was, I, uh, I had been to Clevelander, like, a month ago, but I went with uh, you guys uh, last night, and it was, like, the best fucking night of my life. It was fucking sick. Ins it was sick. insane. That's awesome. I talked to, like, the hottest fucking Latina chick at the club. Oh, the Colombian. The Colombian. Uh, it was insane. The one in the black? Oh, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, she had, like, huge tits. Girl. She was, like, talking. She touched my hand. Like, I didn't realize it. Um... One of my biggest sticking points when I'm like talking to chicks like that night uh, was, was I don't, I kind of keep it friendly. I don't make it sexual enough. I don't really make like uh, sexual comments like, hey, uh, you're sexy as fuck or like really like make it known that like, hey, I'm like attracted to you. I keep the conversations kind of like platonic, platonic yeah. but never really goes anywhere uh, outside of that. But that's one of the things like I'm working on. Yeah. But even though I haven't gotten to that, uh, that part yet, 
I had incredible uh, amount of progress uh, this night. Uh, I was talking to the Latina chick. She was like really into me. And the hot, the hot redhead at the end too. The, the redheaded girl. That girl was like eight five like, nine range. Yeah, the, with the um, little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eye. Yeah, they were just, both of them were really cute. Uh, and then the other chick, she had um, she was a brunette, freaking crazy. Another like insanely hot chick. We have it on uh, we have it on video. He's got, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you on video too, dancing between the two girls. Oh, <laughs> she's like, she's laughing. She's getting colder, uh, colder wrists. Um, yeah. Like I tried going in for a kiss once, but um, she wasn't ready. She yet. wasn't really into it. But I could have done it again. But I was, I kind of got um, lost in like the conversation, and I wasn't sure whether or not to like go in for the kiss again. Like the thing, the thing is, she like, was very receptive. Like, like you guys, like haven't, like you just did your first cold approach three days ago. Like a lot of guys don't realize. That when you do the right shit and you just relax, it's not a big deal. The girls will be receptive to it. So like when the girls are all grinding up on you, or you got a girl grabbing your hand, or like we're like let's go hang out, and they're like all right, and you're taking them out, right? Or like what else? Fucking let's go back to like that one, that one that I was trying for with the car, then the hotel, then the can't believe that didn't go down, and it also blew up all my shit. But <laughs> but like you're seeing like you're seeing like the when progress. you when you make moves, shit can happen, and like. Lots of guys, it's like outside the reality. Like they don't realize you can make moves and like have success, and it's not that hard. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it was different. crazy. Like all I, all I did was was just say, "Hey, um, you look cute. Uh, I wanted to. You look cute. I had to say hello to you. Um, can I meet you real quick? What's your name?" Or a derivative of that, where I'd switch it up with each set so it wasn't repetitive. Most of what I would do specifically when I would approach the chick, the first thing I would say is, "Hey." Uh, I had to say hello to you. You look cute. Uh, can I meet you real quick? What's your name? Um, you know, it's in the Occam's Razor course, and I was getting like insane, uh, like the rea kind of reactions that I want from girls. Like they were receptive. They were open to talking to me. Like they weren't just like blowing me off. Like I had that in the beginning of the night, but as like I did more approaches, I was able to get better results. Better um, girls that were more receptive. Yeah, I thought no. I thought last I night was really awesome. Yeah, last night was really good. Like we, the three of us, we were with three girls, and we had it like all the way towards the end, and then we literally lost it at the conferencing at the end. But like that's that can happen even if you're really good. Like that's just like part of the game. Like the way you, I showed you the way to break it up, you just kind of step in front, not like confrontationally, but just are you gonna be like no whispering, no whispering, ha ha ha. What, like so, are we doing this or what the fuck? And you just try to like tease out the objections, and basically they, like these chicks just didn't feel like comfortable enough yet. My chick was like super on because I've done this like a million times. But like the other two chicks were not fully on yet. So like, but with practice, they will be on and then you can just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And that's like the beauty of it. Like once you get it down, yeah. you can just do it a million times. Yeah, I like, I like what John's approach. There's no bullshit. Everything is to the point. You don't have to memorize like a whole encyclopedia of shit to do. I didn't know anything before. Uh, three days ago, I never even opened a set. I didn't know what was possible. And you had it. You had in one day. You had an instant date yeah. from day game, and then you had uh, a day. chick leaving with you by the hand. Yeah, do, you want, do you want to tell your uh, early online about? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't. We're gonna we're gonna blur you. You want me to tell it? <laughs> so he's okay. So he's never tried to be sexual in a set in an interaction, and the girl apparently I wasn't there, but apparently the girl had nice facial symmetry. And he was like, you have a perfect, he was like, hello, I want to meet you. And then shortly after that, he was like, you have a really nice face that I'd like to come all over. <laughs> and, the, and the chick was like, for those of you watching, it's not about like this being crude over the top, but the chick was like, what? Like all this shit. And then you told her you were a scientist and that you, and she's like, do you fuck, you tell the story. Right. So like, it's my first time out by myself. Um, I see this girl in the bar, she's super attractive. I go up and talk to her, and because I'm new, I like mumble my opener and shit. And so she was like, "Get away from me!" So then I sat down. So I was like, well, so I was, I was like <laughs> "So then I sat so down." John was like, oh. <laughs> "Yeah, I would, I would have bailed at that point, probably." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Well, I, I ne I've never, I never say, I'm way too filtered in the conversation." She was always like, "No filter, right?" So I said, "Right. Well, she already blew me out. What else can I do, right? I can't. I got nothing to lose." So she was like, "Get away from me!" So I just sat down. And I said, did anyone ever tell you you had the perfect face for a guy to come on? And she goes, she goes, she goes. That's sick, bro. Uh, she, goes, she goes, she goes, ew, that's gross. I go, Not the way I do it. And um, nice. And then, um, what happened? 
Oh, oh, they, and then I, then I uh, asked her, um, uh, tried to talk to her again, and then she wasn't uh, receptive. Do you want me to go through the whole thing? Yeah. All right, then I, then I went like I was going to leave, and then I came back and I said, oh, my mother raised me better than that. That's then one we, of the other coaches' lines. Yeah, it was one of the other coaches' lines. And then I asked her who you're here with, and she didn't say who she was here with. She just said uh, where she was going next. And then um, I said, don't go, well, that, that place is a dump, don't go there. And then another, um, another line from a, right? yeah, another line from a, another coach. And then um, it's not all about lines. You're, you're just like crafting things towards where you want it to go. Right, right. This whole interaction was like five minutes, right? And then, um, <laughs> and then, so we she asked talking. what you do. She asked me what, what what I do for a living. I said, who the fuck cares what you what do you do for a living? And she told me <laughs> that she was in real estate. And then I said, all right, cool, real estate. And then she said, no, serious, what do you do for a living? Then I said, just made it up. And then we were talking. And then she said, uh, have you ever, um, do you ever do exper experiments in the, in the laboratory? And I go, yeah. She's like, whatever, yeah, sure. And then she asked me, have I ever fucked anybody in the laboratory? <laughs> so, okay, so like, at this point, like, she's like fucking gaming you. Right. Like, you're not like, hey, have you ever been banged in the laboratory? She's right. like, have you ever been in a laboratory? And she's, it's like a fetish or like some kind of role play thing she's interested in. And you're leading out. And we were, I was leading out, and as I was leading So that was like a done deal. Like, like, like here, let's stop real quick. Like, it doesn't matter he didn't close. Like, if he did that a hundred times, like 95 or 99, he would be like on the way home. But what happened? Oh, like her friend came running out of the bathroom. Like, he feels <laughs> like Usain Bolt. Like, and she's like- Usain Bolt? Yeah, yeah, with heels. It was, I was like, so she came out and I was like, damn, that's impressive. And um, she goes, what the fuck are you doing? You're getting married in two weeks. And then yeah. two girls got in a massive argument and then the police came. <laughs> 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 yeah, so like, yeah, so like, okay. Like, you had an approach three days ago. Three days later, you're going in-state with a sexy girl. Then you got a girl leading with you by the hand. And within five minutes of talking to her. Right. And that shows the power of, like, how this shit can work. And, like, last night, we had, like, how do we bring those girls back to the hotel? I don't remember. So the two chicks that we were uh, speaking to, um, we had brought them up from the, from the club. We pulled them. Yeah. Um, John was pulling the set. I was talking to the other, to the other girl. Uh, she was unreceptive. I still tried um, using the, the lines from the Occam's Razor course. Um, when she was unreceptive, at that point, um, I just saw it as an opportunity. If, um, if I couldn't stimulate uh, interest from her, I was going to neck her. So I was, she pulled out her phone, it was like an iPhone 6, and I was like, damn girl, like, you're, why do you have an old ass phone? <laughs> and I was like trying to um, like neck her, try to like, get her to invest uh, in the conversation, into a conversation. Yeah, long story short, we brought girls back to the hotel. We both tried to outside the bathroom. Neither one succeeded because the, the door didn't fucking close all the way. And then I brought my chick back to the house and blew it up really hard with a fake titty girl that you've seen on my past like seven videos. So that's gone. And uh, <laughs> more action coming tonight. But like, like last final thoughts, like, does it, does this like, is this what's happening? Is it like blowing your minds? Like in terms of, blows my mind as, as to what's possible and how quickly you can learn. How quickly you, can learn. you went from no approaching to having a girl walk out that was engaged by the hand. Yeah, she was, she was yeah and I think the most valuable thing uh, from this boot camp is being around people that are uh, constantly into nightlife. Um, me, because I'm not, I don't go out uh, like at all, like to nightclubs. Um, so having like that transition, have, being around someone who does that, it, that energy like transfers on and you can, um, you are able to progress a little bit faster. I feel like I progressed like really, really fast that night. I was like talking to like everybody that I thought was attractive and developing that consistency, I feel is uh, really crucial and I'm gonna be working on that. But I feel like this boot camp uh, really helped me to actually get to the next level in nice. terms of being more open, getting over my approach anxiety by um, having these specific openers that have the girl receptive uh, to want to talk to you and then just shooting the shit and talking about a bunch of things that you like about just random stuff and then just building it up to um, leading, um, seeding the pool back nice. to your place. All right, thank you so much guys. John Anthony here. If you liked the video, please press the like button, subscribe below and we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.